I'll have to give you a little taste of what you're going to see live here coming up on Low Budget TV. All right. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, like that. Wait, just wait. Now that's a graphic. So we were talking about Paris Auto Speedway. No, we weren't, but now, now you we weren't talking about Paris. No, well, I was going to. Here in a couple of weeks, we'll be live for two weekends at Paris Auto Speedway for their winter racing. You see the modifieds. We'll have modified street stocks, factory stocks for their stock car racing division. So yeah. that'll be January 13th and 14th. That and is a fast track right there. Yeah, it is. Big, fat, high bank half mile. And February 10th and 11th, you can see the factory stocks right there. Here are Ooh. the... This is my first time watching this. <laughs> yeah. So these are the divisions that you'll be seeing racing it up live on lowbudget.tv here in just a couple weeks and in February. From the Paris Auto Speedway, can't wait to bring you all out there with us. See a big modified class there, and that was just on a regular September night. We'll be looking forward to see what the winter brings for us. Yeah, always good racing out of Paris Auto Speedway. Pass. That's right. And then. And then. Wait. Hang on. This will be our announcement to you all, folks. In February 23rd <laughs> and 24th. See that feet great right there? Oh, boy. We're taking Low Budget TV for the first time ever to Showtime Speedway in Pinellas Park, Florida. This is some footage from the uh, three-hour feet great race out of the Indianapolis Speed Drone. But Jeffrey, figure eight action. I cannot wait to take it to Florida and see what those guys on the other coast will do. Folks, this type of racing, if you haven't witnessed it for yourself yet, it's insane. These guys are doing it for hours, Tommy, racing it up, and it's incredible. You see that red car right there? He's the guy who ended up winning the event. He just took off somebody's rear bumper there. It goes flying across the racetrack. It is so tight. It is so insane. And the, the intensity racing, never stops. And the racing is just as good as any short track racing. We just got to go through an intersection Absolutely. every lap, twice a lap. Tommy, this is going to be the year for us. Obviously, a lot of dirt track coverage coming our way on Low Budget TV, but also a lot of that figure eight coverage is going to be happening. Not only are we, uh, we got a lot, a lot of figure eight stuff, and, and I love it. I'm yeah. very excited about that. And uh, that, of course, is going to be fun. A lot of those Indianapolis drivers will be out in Florida. And we cannot wait to cover an event on the other side of the coast. You know, we've, we've covered racing out in uh, Ventura on a smaller scale. Yep. And there goes your keyboard. I knew that happened. <laughs> you were just waiting for it. We're just throwing stuff around, folks. Did that video ever get done? It's going up now. Nice. Well, Tommy, I think it's, uh, I think it's time. You and I had some fun as they are lined up, ready to go. I'm going to join you here. I'm going to announce this race because I'm going to have to dial with the audio. We're underneath the roof, and that's going to pose major problems uh, huh. for audio potentially because for the viewer, it'll have uh, an echo effect. So I'm going to try to adjust that well we'll see won't we well the uh biggest field here is gonna start us off and we got one car stopped over in turn number two but on the pole the number 17 b machine that is kevin brown to is outside the number 74 that is piloted by a driver that is not on our feet <laughs> of course of course he's not so hey that's, or she it could that's, be a she that's one of that's one of our uh late entries Row number two has the number 7N. Yes, 7N machine of Craig Neiman. Goes outside the number 15 machine. That is Les Friend. Then we got the number 38 inside row three. That is piloted by the, is that 38A or straight up? That is KC Keller. And then we got the 16 machine to the outside. That's a 16B of Randy Brown. And then our last row has the number 76. What's the letter on that one? Doesn't look like there is a letter. So that's Mark Garner. And way up to the front, who had a stall over in turn number two, that's a number 27X machine. That would be or the Dwayne. 27T. Dwayne 27 Short. 7 of Dwayne Short. You're right. So again, thank you all for joining with us. This is heat number one for the Sport Mods here. Lights out. 
as we get ready to go. Well, folks, we know that a long time ago, at least, what, uh, 15 hours ago, we started the new year. You've been waiting patiently, but it's time to see some racing in 2018. Antioch Speedway getting ready for the green flag, and it is in the air. Oh, buddy. We got them three wide going all over the place. Brown takes the biggest hit and all that with 16 feet. Oh, and your leader. Leader going on an adventure in turn number three. And that's a driver we don't have a name for. A lot of contact in the back here. And we'll get you these names later once the announcer and the tower get the names. That's when we'll get the names. So we're third hand on the list. Battle for the third spot. And almost some contact there going into turn number three. Neiman on the outside. I'm trying not to blow anybody's eardrums here tonight. Battle for the second spot right there, the 38 to the inside of the 15, the 15 machine of Les Friend battling with the 38 of KC Keller. KC Keller fighting it low on the inside of turn number two, takes that run into turn number three. But Friend holding off on the high side, he slips a little bit, and the battle continues out of turn number four. Oh, that was a close one. I don't think we're done. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not good. That is a lot of smoke for a little problem right now. And we go yellow here. Lap number five of six. feel like uh, we're in lap traffic. So trouble for the 27 machine of Dwayne Short. He's up in smoke over Yeah, not the one. way you want to start the year. I think my duct tape's working. I think people are starting to... <laughs> Figure it out. Well, Tommy, the caution and checkered will fly on this one. Neiman going to take the win in the first heat race of 2018. Wow. At least for us. Historic moment here in the world, folks. But, hey, the 27 is going to finish this race. Dwayne Short. Yeah, hopefully that car will be able to finish the night. The way that that car smoked, it didn't look promising. No. Nope, and they are tending to some fluid over on the track. So we'll keep an eye on that, see if uh, Short is able to continue. Check, check, check. All right, so I'm still battling some audio. We just got to get it right. This is our hot laps here. If anybody out on... TV land, if you want to chime in, let us know, because uh, we're dealing with as much as our headphones can give us. But I think uh, I think we're in for a good night, Jeff. We've got a lot of good competitors. The pit area is packed. Yeah. The parking lot for the pit area and for the grandstands, that's wall-to-wall -wall cars. Yep.
Well, the next batch coming on out. Are you going to keep doing what you're yeah, doing? Yeah, uh, One more heat, if you don't mind. Do you do? You do okay. what you want to do. I'll give you the lineup here. As you see, the cleanup is happening over in turn number three. I think they're just uh, relocating. Actually, they're, they're planting their 2018 uh, crop yeah. right now. They're going to maybe plant some corn. Little strawberries. Little strawberries? Yeah. But I want the big ones. No. I like the genetically modified ones. <laughs> we got a monster truck, a former monster truck driver in this field. So you know it's going to be a good race. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go through the starting lineup, Tommy. All right, back to front. The 63, the monster truck driver himself, used to pilot the tropical thunder machine. That's Andrew Peckham in the 63X. Then we've got the next row, the 72B machine, or R, of Ryan DeForest. They went to us outside the 27T machine of Terry Pfeiffer, I'm guessing, Peffer. The 86 machine, that is piloted by Philip Shelby. To Phillips outside, that is the number. Oh boy, they're gonna do this to me, aren't they? <laughs> the 7 7J. J machine of Fast Fred Ryland. And your front row starter is the number four machine. That is Jimmy Lipke. And the 3F, or the 3B of Tommy Frazier. He slips back to third. I apologize. That's the 3A machine of Joseph Wood. Oh, Joseph, boy. He pushes his high, battle for the lead. Yeah, wreck right over on the turn. We're watching that as yellow is flying. Well, Tommy, if you want, we could probably take a look and see what happened with that one. The 72 and the 27 getting collected. 72R of DeForest and the 27 of Peffer. It's an awfully shiny new uh, scoreboard they have over there. Yeah, it on is. the back straight away. Well, folks, we'd like to, again, thank you for joining us here today. Happy New Year to everybody, 2018. Seven laps to go in this heat race. Tommy and I, we, uh, we'll, we'll tell you a little bit about our New Year's Eve adventures. Here's a, here's a replay for you fine folks. There's a lot going on in this uh, little gaggle of cars here, including your phone falling off the uh, bleachers. So the mechanical black flag. You can see the anticipation of the 27T. <laughs> Probably thought the three was just going to go straight. Got it woed up, but and also collected the 72. I wish everybody could see our setup right now. We are on the edge. Hey, don't forget the head on down the suspension You like being out of control, don't you? Well. Oh, boy. All right, there we go. Good looking racing machines here. That's a 4Y of Jimmy Lipke. The drivers continuing on. So the driver who was one and done in that one was the 72 machine of DeForest. Ryan DeForest sent to the trailer, not for the night, but for the heat races. Yep, one and done. That's how it's going to be for all heat races. Um, and then once we get into B main territory, we will not be worried about that. Caution flag is still waving right now. Looks like they're about to give the black flag to somebody else, Tommy. Now, why would they do that? Uh, well, we're going to find out together. Well, Chris Settlemeyer said that we're good, so that's all that matters. Well, the 3A got the black flag, so where was Chris Settlemeyer for him? Come on, Chris, what? Got to spread the love. So Joseph Wood? 
being sent off the track. That eliminates it down to five. You probably got black flag because you couldn't figure out who, who he was in the first part of the race. I couldn't blame him <laughs> if I tried. He probably has to be parked. It's like, I can't take it. Green flag. Back to racing here. Lipke looking to the inside of the 86 machine of Shelby. Andrew Peckham in the fourth spot. He's a driver that normally competes at Watsonville Ocean Speedway. He's trying to close in on the seven of fast Freddie Ryland, who won this event last year. Fred Ryland looking to the inside of the four of Lipke through turns number one and two. Oh. Peckham in the wall. So Andrew Peckham using the wall to help turn over turns number one and two. But your leader right now, if he had a mirror, he'd look back to be happy because they're battling for that second spot. Your leader, the 86 of Philip Shelby, opening up a six, seven car lanes lead over Jimmy Lipke. Ooh. Red Ryland, he threw it into turn number two. The car did not stick. He had to slip back there. Two to go in this heat race. And we got debris on the back straight away. We go yellow. Looks like a side skirt, possibly. So that'll bring out the caution here with two laps to do our shootout here on a Monday afternoon. So we got, here's the uh, brand spanking. Look at that. Look, they even got letters up there. And then. That is cool. This is where we have our, our lap counter. That's our lap counter. So we're doing double scoreboards here tonight. Oh, yeah, man. How many racetracks have double scoreboards? Not enough. <laughs> I might, I might want to lower this. Go ahead right ahead. But it's all, it's it all attached. It don't bother me. It will. Oh, look at that. Good going. Look at that. Well, actually, they can't see it because the light. No. No? No. What is it? Go ahead and type. That was the that was sport mod. Well, go ahead and type it out. What I, is it? Well, I don't want to touch your phone now. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> uh, it's on It's on the, the page. I think it's about 13 or 14. All right, folks. Check. Here we go again. Three laps to go. Oh, look at this move by Peckham on the outside. And <laughs> inside. <laughs> And your leader is slipping up in turn number one. That'll cause a stack up. Lipke caught on the brakes, and we got Fred Rylan duking it out for the second spot now. Like they had been doing all this heat race. Rylan with the run out of turn number four. We'll grab the second spot with one lap to go. It was almost a heartbreak moment for the 86 machine as he about threw it all away. But out of turn number four, Philip Shelby will take the checkered flag in heat number two of the Sport Mods. Second spot will be Fred Ryland, third, Lipke, fourth, Peckham, fifth, the 27 T machine of Peffer. And that'll round out your field. You're on the track right now. It's on there if you if you want to just double check that. I count. did. Oh, you did? Okay. Two. I'm nervous about your phone, man. That's all right. I just don't. I just don't want to kick it when I get excited. You know how I kick. You used to play soccer. <laughs> yeah. You watched one of those games. So when do we want to try to camera up this track? I have no idea. Me neither. All right. Well, you want to take camera, or are you uh, still? Sorting things out. Hang on.
I'm going to trade you. Oh, boy. I see right now I'm going to take your phone with me. <laughs> well, I'm ready when you are, Tommy. We got one to go. If you need this, it's right here. Cool. Cool. All right, starting on the pole in this one, the 15B machine, Ron Brown is outside the seven. I believe that's the seven straight up. Yep. Peppermint Patty Ryland, row number two, the 38. Would that be 38A machine of Todd Gomez? That is a 38B. 38B. Is there such a thing? Oh! Green flaw, not going to come out. That is a letter A. a. That is a lowercase a. I was looking for an uppercase. Our... our Alphabet is so bad here that we didn't even allow them to bring out the green. <laughs> That's how bad we are. Uh, that is the 38A machine of Todd Gomez. I believe on the outside of Gomez. Oh, man, I'm making a mess here. Well, they are kind of helping you, too. That's a 2C machine. Yeah, 2C machine, Trevor Clemens. I'm wiping my hands off right now. Okay. <laughs> we got the 19 in the field, Jason Ferguson. And that 58M machine of Mike Merritt. Two. That's another two. I do not have this one down. What number is that, Tommy? 2A. Two 2A. Two All right. 2A we will need to get. As well as the 96 machine. I believe that's 96M of Paul Mulder. Yes. As we get ready to race. Eight cars, eight laps, heat race, green flag. Three wide into turn number one. Ryland with the early lead. Clemens jumps to second, side by side with Brown. And Gomez for the third position. Good battle there for the third spot. Gomez will take it. Brown slips back, now the 58 on pursuit. Ninety six M, I think, was the last car to show up here today. If not, it was the two A machine. Though I thought we saw the two A earlier, but we'll look into that. Nice clean racing. Haven't haven't seen too bad of a moment so far. Seems like most cars should be able to make it. Obviously we had some mechanical issues in some earlier heat races. But side-by-side -side action here for the fifth spot. Mulder to the inside of Merritt. Woohoo! Getting tied over there. Yeah, look at the lot of traffic though, starting to stack up your leaders. So Patty Rowland having to check up. And with that, here comes Clymans now in the 2C machine, right on her back bumper. Clymans, moving in on your leader, Peppermint Batty. Two laps to go. And Gomez now, he's making his way up into this battle. Clymans wants this heat race win. The white flag is in the air. Although that last turn might be all that Peppermint Patty needed. Hold off for this victory. Down the back straight away for the final time of this heat race. Ryland goes wide, Clymans dives to the inside, but Ryland will hold on to lead and take the victory. Clymans, Gomez, Brown, Merritt, Mulder, Ferguson. All cars on the lead lap. Tommy, I want to take a look over that 58M machine right now. Okay. Because That's I heard. Crazy taxi. I heard that. Someone on the Merritt crew yes. is celebrating a birthday. Jessica Merritt. Yeah, happy birthday. Celebrating a birthday. Birthday race weekend. Yeah. Or week day. So that's cool. Yeah, happy a birthday. Way to spend the the birthday weekend out here at the racetrack. Yeah, I wouldn't find any better way. Absolutely. So are we ready to switch back and forth here? Yep. I like how I went for it. I think at some point we're gonna want to, to lube up with some water. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. I don't know what everyone else was thinking we were going well, to need to do that for. but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. But 
All right. Well, that was, uh, I think, the last. Was there was there somebody else in the sport mods that, that we didn't have a number for? Do you remember what number that was? It was one of the races you were announcing. I believe it was a 70... It Two. Was 74. 74. Scott I'm Dinger. Sorry. Yeah, Scott Dinger. All right, Jeffrey, I'm ready. We're good. doing some A. Uh, good save. Uh, a mod heat races here. As we go green. Maybe. We do. Who's our leader? Out into the lead right now, the number six P machine of Travis Perry. Number 23S in the second spot right now. 23R, Raymond Lindman. And we got the Tide Ride duking it out for the third spot. To the inside, that is Nick DiCarlo. And trouble up in turn number two. Battle for the third spot continues. DiCarlo, winner of this event last year, up to the third spot, the 81 machine. That is Bobby Mox Jr. The number four... B machine that is Bobby Montalvo and running out the field the pink number 19 K of Bud Chester Nick. Sean Wilson in the seven machine having an issue down the back straight away. He's got that seven fired back up and continues on. And a battle for the second spot brewing now. Here comes Nick DiCarlo to the inside looking of the 23 machine of Raymond Lindman. Everybody, Last traffic. Everybody loves Raymond. As a 6P of Travis Perry goes by with some contact on Wilson's front end. A little misjudgment there. But that 6 machine, the Batmobile, is flying here right now. As we'll have two to go from the stripe. And heat race number one for the modified. Nick DiCarlo and the Daryl Waltrip look-alike scheme won this event last year, but right now Perry is making them look good. Or look bad, I should say. And he's hugging that low side through turns number one and two. And has not looked back since the start of this race from the lead. All the way to the checkered flag, the 6B of Travis Perry. Checkered flag, heat number one victory here in Antioch. Second spot goes to the 23 machine of Lindman. Third, the 17 of DiCarlo. Fourth, the 81 of Bobby Motts Jr. We got the 19 running, or in fifth spot, that's Chester Niss. The 4B of Bobby Montalvo and Wilson and the 7. Rounding out the field, the heat number one done here from Antioch Speedway. Live on lowbudget.tv. Oh, yeah. And a sneak peek around the world on Facebook. Uh oh, we're live. So, for those of you on Facebook land getting a quick little peek, this is not going to be all night. Nope. We're New Year's racing here from Antioch. Yep. And we want to know if you have a dog in the fight, who you're rooting for, who you're cheering on, and heck, where are you watching from? And that goes with all of our viewers here. Yeah. All over the Talk world. Talk to us. Let's hear it. Let us know where you're at. All right, Tommy, let's go through the starting lineup. I love this number already. <clears throat> yeah, the problem is I don't know if I have a number. <laughs> is this a late it? entry? It, it wasn't a no, late entry. No, it was here. But all right, getting ready to go I green think, flag racing, yes. I think they put this driver in the discount section. <laughs> yes, they did. Uh, we have one to go. Uh, this is <laughs> the 299 machine. <laughs> $2.99. Uh, we'll get a name for sure, verified on that. 34J, Jeff Faulkner, starting on the outside row number two. Inside row number one gives us a 16. I believe that's Randy Brown. Yes. And then we got the 49 machine. <laughs> Only name they gave me on this one was J. Good row job. number three to the inside, 28K, Chester Niss. And Tommy, outside row number three. Is it 01? Or the 17T. Yeah, it was close enough. Terry DiCarlo. And then we round out with these ones, the 73 machine, who I need to mark Scott down. Scott Busby. Is that for sure? That's for sure. Oh, well. Unless he uh, decided not to drive it tonight. 
Well, I marked down Scott Busby on that one and the 0-1 machine. That's Bo and Luke Duke, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we also don't have a name for. Well, it's going to be Bo. It could. Let's just say it's Daisy Duke. I like it. I like it. So we managed to get, you know, 66% of the names in this one. <laughs> and like I said, we're third-hand info, or we get, we're yeah. getting third-hand. Yeah. What's the sad part is, had we known we had to get these names, because well, yeah. <laughs> we talked to half these drivers, or just about everybody, but we get ready to go green flag, eight laps, eight cars. Green flag. Heat number two for the Modifieds. Plenty of racing action here tonight. Modified sport mods, dwarf cars, and hobby stocks. Live here on lowbudget.tv from the Winter Classic at Antioch Speedway. Lots of races still to come. Side-by-side -side action. Two very different lines as Brown goes for the lead. Battles continue on. Niss right in the middle. Look at that beautiful 28 machine in this field, man. Yeah, really cool. Second place, catching the wall just a little bit, that 299 special. Niss also rim riding and catching the wall in turns one and two. In the third spot right now sits Faulkner, trying to hold off to Carlo. And here comes Busby. I think they're thinking about a three wide moment here, Tommy. It could work, not for a long time. The Carlo to the inside of Faulkner takes away the third position. Busby now dives to the inside. Four laps to go. I'll count that as three wide. Oh, yeah. Busby passing Faulkner. Faulkner slipping back in that 34 machine. But Busby right now immediately sets his sights on the next competitor. I tell you what, Randy Brown, he's checked out in that 16B machine. Oh, yeah, nothing left there. DiCarlo goes wide and loses all those positions made up. And another car, Jay, in the 49 machine having an issue. Spun it sideways. Got it going once again. Not going to bring out a yellow. But we will see the white flag this time by. Talk about a lead. Look at yep. this. Just a little bit. Out of turn number four. That 16 machine, Randy Brown takes the win. The battle for second as Busby gets to the inside of the special. Busby beats the 299. Looks like Busby cashed in on that special. You know, if they ever try to sell that 299 car, they're going to have a problem. Oh, yeah. They're going to say, this is the advertised price. Now let me go check in on Facebook World. All right, let's so check in. So for those of you who are new to us here, we do it on Facebook just a sneak peek. We're not going to be here the whole time broadcasting the races live. If you want to see that, www.lowbudget.tv. We've got three different quality standard, high definition, and always in between high quality for you and your viewing pleasure. So... Check us out, www.lowbudget.tv. You're getting a sample of what you're going to see all night long. As I do see the Hobby Stocks lineup, Jerry, i got to ask you. Yes. Ask me away. Do you think we should uh, do at least one heat race for the Hobby Stocks? we got to do at least one. We should? It's New Year's Day. Okay, yeah, it's a gift for our viewers. Yeah, man. And the DNF crew is here, so what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, I can't finish uh, unless it's DNF. They have a lot of colorful vehicles here, don't they? Eric Loya saying, can't wait for the season to start. Neither can we. I think it's already started for us. It's on, baby. Uh, We're Joseph, racing. Joseph watching from Reno, Nevada. Uh, Dell watching from Merced. Merced says Eugene Costa. Greenfield, California is Jerry. Terry Campione saying Santa Cruz in the house. Uh, Eric watching from Taft, California. New Rome, Wisconsin says Miles. Dan watching from Fort Worth, Texas. Nice. Brentwood, I'm the turn two official that called in sick. <laughs> I'll just leave him nameless. I'll be done. <laughs> uh, Patrick saying he's not watching Irwindale. Or not watching from Irwindale. I don't know. What? <laughs> okay. Bradenton, Florida says Justin. 
Way to go, Busby, says Justin as well. Ryan Olds watching from Bakersfield, California. We know that town pretty well. Heck yeah, Tommy. We got a starting lineup to do. All righty. Are you guys ready for some hobby stock action? They better be. They don't have a choice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 checked in here tonight. On the court. You ready to add to that number, though? Yes. Uh, on the pole, the number 21, or at least starting up front somewhere. That'll be the 21 of Cameron Swank. Then we got the number 40 machine. That is nasty Natalie Perry. He'll be starting to the outside. Row two has a number 24 of Mitch. Low. Hang on. I've got to read your pronunciation. Low what? I'm trying Low to. Low Ciciro. Low Ciciro. Okay. I, was, I had a harder time reading your pronunciation of it, but I got it now. Low Ciciro. Then we've got to the outside the number six machine. That is Chris Bennett. Row number three has the X of Jimmy Bobby. And to the outside is the number 76. 76 of Sid Finn. Row number four, the 89 machine. That is piloted by Eric Pitchner. Then to Eric's outside it will be that beautifully painted number eight yep. ride. Which we do not have on our sheet. Oh, 8R of Josh Leach. And rounding out the field, it's a shy one, but it's okay. It's the first race of the year. And Chris Brown. And shake it down here tonight in Antioch. All right, folks. Bob's backhoe. Oh, locking up the left front. <laughs> Are you oh ready yeah. for hobby stocks? That doesn't look good. It shouldn't be locking up <laughs> under the pace laps. No? Is that not okay? <laughs> hobby stock heat race number one, folks. Strap in those seatbelts. Natalie in the second spot. Already getting a bump draft into turn number one. Oh, boy. Well, Swank, you're a leader right now. We got them all scattered around this Yeah, we do. Slipping in and sliding. Swank will lead lap number one. These cars running, uh, really running that high line entry. Nasty Natalie. Oh, nasty Natalie. In the second spot, trying to hold off the six machine of Bennett. And it's going to continue to the high side, but lose the spot. And Swank struggled in that turn, which allowed them all to close it. Oh! Front straightaway, hard impact for the aid machine. And trouble for the second spot. Nasty Natalie smoking. And she will loop it around, but we got problems. A red flag on the start-finish line. Front straightaway. Not sure what happened here. Well, I was just talking about how high they were entering into turn one. The six of Bennett and the eight machine of Leach having craziness over in turn number one. And it kind of sounded like major problems. <laughs> Any anytime a car goes off the track backwards, that is a major problem. Yeah, usually. Driver are, drivers are okay, says the report. Well, so who wants to hang around for the rest of the night? Watch them yeah. stock racing. Let's see what you got for a replay here. For the record, I don't, I don't know if this car isn't going to continue the race. What the heck? Oh, this is a lot before. I apologize, but we get to see it anyways. Here the. Fans clapping, that's for the six of Bennett. He's actually continuing on. He's getting his spot in line. As you see, Nasty Natalie and Bennett duking it out here. All right, let's see. Down the front straighter into turn number one. Look out, you're entering the pits now. And into the wall, hits a light pole. <laughs> and then a little bit back here, the eight machine is grinding down that front straightaway wall. Really? Yeah, but I did not see the hate card. This is a battle here for second spot that got all kind of wrong. I'd be curious to see what the call is for that. But yeah, folks, it's a it's wild here with these hobby stacks. You saw it in our post on social media. Mm -hmm. These things are always a good time at any racetrack you yeah. go to. <laughs> oh man. Watch this at speed. Talk about an oh puckered up moment right there. Woo! Well, you know what? Good job to this track because 
a lot of times you have issues where you know you have a wall on a pit exit or pit entrance, and they clearly have something figured out here because that could have yeah. that looked like it was going to be disastrous. And I mean, you can see that big tractor tire there; it did its job. It looks like these cars are ready to continue. Back to live here. I'm interested, Tommy. We, you talked about. So we're live. Here's the eight cars driven. The eight or the six machine is next. Oh, to excuse the me, the six. Yeah, and it's driving. <laughs> it's been driven and it is driving. But is it going off the track? And yeah, I think he just wanted to double check what the tire looked like. Here's Nasty Natalie. She was battling in the second spot and saw a big puff of smoke. And she got all sorts out of control, and now she's going up on the tow truck. So we, ha we had a moment with uh, the Nasty Natalie team yeah, where we were looking at uh, the ex of Jimmy Bobby. Jimmy Bobby and Nasty Natalie, they've had their run-in this season. And, and there was or a mark, season. I think, where Nasty Nat signed it. Yeah, a nice tear in the body. And um, Nasty Nat's husband came by to explain to us that she had signed it. Uh, yeah. But what we didn't realize what it was it was Nasty Nat's husband, so we're like, oh, are you going to get payback? And he's like, why would I get payback on my wife? Yeah, exactly. We thought we were talking we, about we, Yeah, I thought, I thought he still raced the car. I didn't yeah. realize. He was standing next to it. So We thought we were talking to Jimmy Bobby. All right, one to go from the flag stand, folks. Here we go. We have six laps to do it in this heat race. And after well, Nasty Natalie is having a good laugh right now. After this, we will close down our live looking yep. on Facebook. Yep, because that's how you write X. That is the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an H, it's an X. However it works, it works. Here All we right. go. So Swank and Jimmy Bobby bringing the field back to green. Again, if you want to see the full action, if you're live on Facebook for the rest of the night from Antioch Speedway's Winter Classic, tune in www.lowbudget.tv. Swank all crossed up. Cars in the back all crossed up. Battle for third. Hobby stocks. The number 24. Got ourselves a race for the lead here. Mitchell Osiro, is that how you pronounce it, Jeffrey? Battle for the lead here. Here comes Jimmy Bobby, blue and a little shake and bake out of turn number four. Cameron Swink doing a great job of holding off. We got racing all around here. We do. That 11 machine still locking up the left front a little bit. <laughs> yep. Well, making it work. The 11 of Chris Brown, the 89, duking it out back there. Oh, in trouble on the front straight away. The 76 goes for a slide. And the battle for the lead. So Sid Finn could bring out a caution. Nope. Starts it back up. Does the U-turn on the front straightaway, and here comes your leaders, but the yellow's out. Yellow does fly. So Jimmy Bobby has a good shot. He already was having a good shot on that 21 of Swank, but now gets to restack the field for a two-lap shootout here in the seat number one for the <laughs> Hobby Stock. So we weren't really thinking, but next time you and I get a uh, red flag, we should throw some cameras on the track. Uh, low C C row. Low C C row. Low C C row. C C's pizza. Yes. <laughs> low C C row. All right, double up from the flag stand. Yeah. Luckily, they wrote those down. Yes. So I was just, I was just copycatting. All right. Telling them to double up. Loose cannon raisin watching on low budget TV from Vancouver, Washington. Nice. 
Uh, we're, uh, we're closer to Vancouver, Washington yeah. than we are home. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Brent says, about check out the caution light. The yeah. six of Bennett. Uh, Wiser, Idaho, watching. That's from Al. Copperopolis, that's my favorite town. Melinda Jackson Hoff. All right, for the lead, for the win in this heat race. Now, Jeffrey, if you're swinging that 21 machine, you've led the race this entire run. You got a green-white checkered, and you just saw Jimmy Bobby pass you, and your hood's starting to fly off. White flag waves, and Swank, who had this race led up till this restart, subs back to third. Interesting to note that Swank opted for the high line on that restart. So decisions, decisions. Looks like the 24 is off the pace Lo now. Cicero. Mitch Cicero slips back, but out of turn number four, the X-Men, Jimmy Bobby. Checkered flag, Swank holds off to second. Third spot will be the 11 machine of Chris Brown, fourth the 24 of Mitch Cicero. And rounding out your field, the number 89 of Eric Pitchner. And that'll do it for our Facebook Live look-in. Join us, though, for the rest of the racing to come. Lots of racing to come. Oh, yeah. Still two full divisions know, of heat know. races. Yeah. Still the rest of the heat races for this. B mains, A mains, all the good stuff. If you want your racing itch on New Year's Day, the Rose Parade is already done and gone. Now we're going to get some horsepower action here from Antioch. Join us live, lowbudget.tv. All right, Jeffrey. They're telling them to double up, Tommy. Double so trouble. we're gonna we're gonna jump right into this. Double treble. Starting on the pole, the number 84 machine. That is driver Russell Shearer outside. We got the number nine. Uh oh. No, you can't you can't do that. <laughs> Bob Saget. Um, that is the 98 machine in second of Joe Ridgeway. The 54 third place starter, Anthony Vigna. Ant. That's Ant Man. And then, how about this car? Beautiful paint job. 51 oh, yeah. machine of Jeremy Lang Langdon. Wait, I can do this. Langendurfer. That, that's it. That's out, That's all that needed to be said. John Langendurfer. John Jacob Langendurfer Hyman. 99, that's Chris Long. Saw that driver have an exciting time last year. Won it last year, yep. With uh, a flat tire as well. Outside there, I believe, is the 102, 102 who we don't have a name for. We'll, we'll fix that. Four machine, that's the 4R. I like how you're getting all the drivers without names. I know. Brad Ray and then the 38 machine of Haley Gomez. Rounds out the field if that is the 38H machine. So, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go racing. Heat Bobby Stocks. Heat number two. Oh, and again. Where are you going? Where? Are the racetrack's over here. <laughs> Well, hey, if you got to make a pit stop, make a pit stop. What the heck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we laughed at this paint job, uh, but this car's going for the lead right now. Caution the yellow, flag. The yellow comes out. I just want to know what happened on the other side of this one. <laughs> uh, we uh, we have a car that. Uh, <laughs> I hope they. Whose GPS I think went a little wide. <laughs> I, I hope they made it. And we got another car entering the field into the pits. Oh my gosh, that car looks like it's not race ready though. No, but but it oh, is for there's sale. a car that took the pit area. <laughs> it's still running, folks. The '98. <laughs> you know, we filmed here last year. I don't recall any issues with the track exit, and we've had two in both heat races. Yeah, for the hobby stocks. Tommy, I think you're going to help us uh, revisit that moment. As the 98 does <laughs> make his way back on track. That's Ridgeway in the 98 machine. <laughs> Hang on. Let me uh, resort here. Because I actually got to pull this replay graphic down.
All right, let's see here. <laughs> well, the uh, I believe Ridgeway gets to restart. So Shear actually was got got the black flag because of this incident. But you can see. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye bye. And uh, you know, not a bad job to keep it from slamming the wall harder. But one more time at speed. And that was that was one of those moments where Ridgeway had the option of do I try to crank it and save it, yeah. or do I just avoid the wall and see how it ends up? Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> Well, Tommy, you want to try this again? Let's restart it. Eight laps. We still somehow have eight cars after that one. However, the 84 machine of Shearer will be restarting in the back. I feel bad for all the people who don't want to buy live and uh, just miss that one on Facebook. That was a moment. 2018's already No, I don't feel bad, actually. <laughs> it's given me moments that we, we <laughs> always say, you never know what you're going to see at the racetrack. We're not going green this time by. One to go. We'll be back to racing next time by Ant starting on the pole now. I want to try to help out with that mile steer. I don't want to lose it down the grandstands, if you may. Nah. I just, I'd love to know what's going on here. I don't know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the, the fun of filming. Hey, you know, we grew up in the grandstands. Yes, we did. Nice crowd, too. Yeah. We got them packed up here. Yes, sir. On a, you know, a January 1st, can't complain about the weather. No, not at all. Green flag in the air. Let's try this again. Chris Long, that 99 machine, Tommy, last year we saw quite the moment for that driver. Lost a tire early in the race, had to go to the pits, switch one out. Drove all the way back through the field and into victory lane. Last year here at Antioch Speedway for the New Year's race. Ridgeway, our leader. Langendurfer in the second position. Battle for fifth further in the back of the pack. Ray in the 4R machine taking the spot away from the 102. Well, you're Je you're Jeffrey, you're talking about that 51 machine. You know, Pete? not the best numbers, but that was a last minute deal that actually is playing out to be a battle for the lead. Had a chat with them right when they pulled in. They were saying, you know, we didn't really have time to paint it. It was a last minute decision, like you said, to come out here. I think they're liking their decision, though. I know we are. And I told them, don't, don't fix the paint job. No, there's no need to fix it. That John Deere is running real good. Tell you what, the car that exited the track on the very first lap is holding on to the lead, so maybe there's some secret in the match. It's a great race for the lead we have going on here. Four laps to go. Halfway through this heat race, battle for third side by side as Ray looks to the inside of the 99 of Long. Ray's been moving up in that 4R machine. He will take the position down the back straightaway. Side by side now for the lead out of turn number four. Good racing here in Antioch. Ridgeway. Langendurfer, your top two drivers. Real good race in here. This is exactly what you want to see in the heats because it's setting things up for the mains. Langendurfer, the paint job of the year right now, jumps into the... Oh! Ho, ho. Hobby with, stocks. With some contact, though. Oh, there's a surprise in a hobby stock race. Yeah. Well, the field now spread out. White flag flies for Langendurfer. Yeah, white and flag. And everybody running their own race. You can see through the corners here. Everybody's spread out evenly. That will not be the case in the main event when we got all the cars out of here. Trouble for the 98. Second spot slips up. Uh-oh. And your leader out of turn number four. It is Langendurfer taking the checkered flag. Just about lapping the car that was to start on the pole in this one. Ray finished the second. Long and Ridgeway, third and fourth. Fifth place, we go to the 54 machine of Vinya. And the 102 manages fifth. Dwarf well. cars looks like they're up next. Well, a couple big dwarf cars. There's two modifies, and I wonder if they have their own heat race. Just them. <laughs> 
A duel. We're, Monday duel. We're going to want to be ready to there. see if we can start slapping cameras on. Yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe ask next door if they've got an idea for intermission. Here, I'm going to give you this. Okay. I'm going to switch with you. Want me to ask? Yeah, do you, do you mind? Nope. See what they say? I don't know if you want to try and get numbers now, too, or later. If, see if there's an intermission. If there is, we'll get those numbers during intermission. Folks, you get to hear all the... Oh, nah, we got some cars that are just going to be warming up here. I think some uh, cars that just need a few laps. We'll figure this out. All right, folks, Dwarf Cars, they are wasting no time on this one, so apologies on the slight delay on our starting lineup, but we'll get you that right away. Green Here. flag. Kind of, no. No, no not green flag. No green, but no, it's a nice try. No. We were having a chat with race control, and what did you find out? We found out that we will have a B main here tonight. Uh-oh. For, for the Sport mods. Nice. All right, let's get through the starting six, lineup. Six car transfer now on, on the pole, and this one is at the number four. Four machine of Tony Stevenson. Double zero. Double zero. That is Butch Mike Cavasaro. Corsaro. Corsaro. Green flag. Uh-oh. All right. Okay. You got the number two machine. You got the number two of David Michael Rosa. There's a two and a letter on that one. That is a 2J of Jack Haverty. I apologize. Got the zero. Seeing if I got everybody. Zero of Charlie Cortia. And rounding out the field is the yellow car, I believe. Or the 41, I apologize. That is Terry Rothwiller. And rounding out the field, the 47 of Adam TV. Tevez. Either way, tomato, tomato. Well, Mike Corsaro is your leader right now in the double zero machine. Chris Becker in the four machine. He got all crossed up on the start finish line in this race. Uh oh, where are you going? Up the track and up in the loose stuff. That is a two end machine. Troubles for that two machine. Looks like that car just doesn't want to turn. White flag out for the double zero. That is Lonnie Ticket. Oh, wow. Look at the, the right front broken on that two. Checker flag for Corsaro. And I apologize. That was the name that we didn't have the two end of Lonnie Techart. 
if I'm reading the writing correctly. Arm you can see, look at that right front. Yeah, like an upper control arm broken. Street sweeper. Ball joint or something. Tommy, I cannot complain about the uh, numbers. Yeah, you're a double zero driver, but when you don't have double zero as an option, you pick zero, and hell, your team would be doing all right tonight. We'd be doing okay. So that was Dwarf Heat number one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen potentially on if if not more. Track. Yep. Yep. So we have a B main. Do we have an intermission? No. Okay. Good. <laughs> so it's it's pretty much all or nothing during interviews. Well, we're gonna make it all. Yeah. That's cool. Well, it doesn't matter for anybody watching right now. It only no no it, for yeah Mexico. it doesn't affect you guys. <laughs> But at this point, I think we've used up turn one anyways. All right, we got to do this with our starting lineups. 52 in of Chuck Conover starting on the pole. We got the 63 machine of Buddy Alshwaka starting outside of row number one. The number 12, 12 machine of 12 Spanky. Man. Spanky there. And then they're calling the, Z the zero 01 machine of David Kausaro. And rounding out the field, the 11D machine of Captain Chaos, Danny Wagner. Oh! Figure eight racing. Figure eight moment. Well, Conover is not going to be too pleased with that moment. Battle for the second spot. Yeah, He's Captain Chaos. Move out of the way. It's Spanky versus Captain Chaos. Great nickname. Down the back straightaway they go. Here comes that 12 in, Jeffrey, for the lead. And don't look now. Spanky's making a move for the lead. They're chasing down that 63, Oshwaka, or Oshauka. Oshevka is how you pronounce it. Thank you. I needed that. Spanky, side by side, two laps to go. Watch out for Captain Chaos and all this. The 11D machine wants a bit. Well, I'm excited for the main event. I think I am too. Dorfgar's putting on a show out here. White flag is in the air. Oh, it's getting tight. Are we gonna go three wide? They try down the back straightaway. Spanky to the inside. Tommy, who's it gonna be in the line? <laughs> no. Oh, it's a contact. And it is Spanky, Michael Greener taking the win. Oh, great action. Love it. I think we have one more heat race to go. I knew it would be a good time with the dwarf cars. Now, this class is an addition from last year. So why we have a chance, are you able to add any of those names? I might be. Watch. Here, I'll give you, since you've been writing, the 2N. Who are we looking at? I'm sorry, the for Dwarf. 2N. Hang on, let me get to the Dwarf cards. Yeah, forget it. We're going green next time by anyways. We'll get it. I believe in us. No one else might, but no, no one else might. That's okay. We'll make believers out of them. Yeah, make believe. All right, the 68 machine. That'll be driver starting on the pole of Dave Rosa. To the outside, the number two. That is David Michael Rosa. Old school. Yeah. So the Rosa front row. Then the 2J. 2J machine of Jack Haverty. I feel like I've already announced these drivers before. And the 04. 04. That is piloted by Troy. Stevenson. So four car heat. We go green. Oh boy. The Rosas almost colliding there on the start finish line. Into the second spot, the 2J machine. Jack Haverty slips, up to, or slips back to third, and it looks like he has a problem. But then that car is just slipping and sliding. Maybe like a drive shaft issue. Or I'm sorry, an axle issue. Uh, 
I was going to say, I've never seen one of these lose a drive shaft before. Yeah. I don't know, something's up with that 2J. It's just under acceleration, wants to turn. I don't know if these things are chain driven. They normally are, but I don't know if they switched over to drive shaft or rear end setups. Into turns number three and four. Battle up front for the lead. Two to go. That's uh, a 68 <laughs> of Dave Rosa. Great example right now of you don't need a lot of cars on the track to put on yes. a great race. Correct, absolutely. Dave Rosa battling David Michael Rosa. White flag. So the two Rosas of the bunch. And this heat race duking it out. Third turns number three and four, the 68 of Dave Rosa. Coming to the checkered flag. Michael Rosa second, third spot will go to that zero four machine of Troy Stevenson. Who had to back it out from going, taking down the wall. All right, so I think that's a wrap for heat races. Heat races next up will be our trophy dash. Oh. For the B mods or better known as sport mods. All right, let's do this number thing. Here we go.